right? And I, I'm guilty. I thought it was, I thought it was a pretty high level, hard move to get. I didn't know how people got it. And now having learned it, I wish I knew it sooner because I think it's really easy, okay? But moving from where we were, we were cross facing right here. We're trying to turn him. We're trying to turn him. Let's say he won't go. He's posting, he's spreading his legs wide. He's pushing, looking into me. Or, or sorry, looking away right here. He won't go, I'm driving, I'm driving. He won't go, okay? So I had this cross face, I can't get it. He's spread out his weight again. His head's up, he won't let me do it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab his armpit. I'm gonna let go of his far arm. So with my inside hand, I'm gonna grab the armpit. And really, I'm, I'm even complicating it more. But I'm just gonna show you it in steps and then I'll show you how to just go for it. Okay, I'm gonna grab his armpit. So I got this cross face with my free hand. I'm gonna grab in that near side armpit. Now, I let go of the cross face. I reach over his head, I lock my hands. Okay, I lock my hands. Now, all I'm gonna do I'm gonna step over his back, right here. When I step over his back, see how there's all this space? I'm gonna bring his head with me, okay? Right here, I step over his back, I bring this head with me. Keep belly down. He's trying to belly down. Now I just bring my other knee over his back. Now, I'm just gonna sprawl to the mat. Now, he's gonna squirm around and turn, and I'm just gonna squeeze, and whichever way he turns, he's getting choked. He's either turning into this arm and his, his, his own arm's going across his throat or he turns away and now he's turning into my arm that's across his throat. Hey, flow wrestling, they call it the assassin. I don't know who named it that. Kind of like it, it's a cool name, okay? Well, you're hitting an assassin. So now, make it even more simple. And this, again, you it, learning this move is more timing than it is expertise to know how to hit it because it's really simple. I'm just, it's like a headlock, except I'm going the opposite way, okay? I'm going with my top arm over his head, or my, my outside arm over his head instead of my inside arm. So from right here, I'm literally gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab under his armpit. I'm gonna lock my hands right under his armpit. I'm gonna step a knee over his back, I'm gonna pull his head into my side. Now I'm gonna bring my other knee over his back, and I'm gonna sprawl right there. I'm gonna sprawl on the mat. Again, the more he fights, the tighter I squeeze. Right here, I squeeze. The more he fights, the more I squeeze, the more he gets choked, the faster he gets pinned, okay? So, one more time, taking it from the position we were in, because I'm a strong believer and everything plays into the next move. Chain wrestling is how you become great. You watch the best guys on top, every move they hit goes to another move. All of a sudden they go from up 2-0 to up 16-0 to zero in a minute because they hit one turn. Boom, partners on the belly, or opponents on the belly, they're right to the next turn. Partners to the belly, they're already going for the next turn. All of a sudden they had to take down four turns in a minute and the match is over. So I'm right here, I'm in this cross face, I'm in this butcher. I'm working for this butcher, he's fighting, he doesn't let me have it. I grab the armpit, just so I don't have to jump to it, I grab the armpit, now I let go. He's gonna turn down when I let go, when he turns down, I'm locking. Okay, armpit, locking. Now I step over the back, pull the head into me. As they fight down, I step over again, I lean, I sprawl, I hips to the mat, squeeze. Biggest key to this, when you grab that lock, you keep it tight. Other than that, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Jump over their back and squeeze and sprawl. Got it? Let's get it down, one, two.